Hey folks, Steve O here, coming at you from the very freezing cold Garage of Evil. And as you can see, you are looking at a flickering candle um, sitting on an old distressed frosted globe that I originally made uh, to go into one of my lanterns. Um, this webcam is really not doing it justice. It's a wonderful, subtle effect um, that has some nice randomness to it. In fact, every time you think you're about to pick up um, or perceive a pattern in it, it actually changes just a little bit, which is kind of neat. It changes every second or so. Um, the reason why I'm recording this is because I'd like you to make this, because it introduces some really cool concepts uh, that are native to the pickaxe in some cases, like uh, its native PWM functions and also its native timer. And it also introduces the idea of random and shows you how variables are used in a more advanced fashion. So I would recommend that you give this a shot and just plunk the code in and uh, throw, some, throw some frosted glass over it to diffuse the LEDs and you'll see this really cool effect, and I can tell you this webcam is really not doing any justice. It's very subtle in person, and I think you'll really dig it. It's a big step up from your average flickering tea light type candles. So, um, just to give you a quick idea how the actual wiring is done, um, let me just pull this off of here for a second, and then we're going to attempt to move the camera down. God knows how this is going to work. Um, maybe we can even move it a little bit closer, right? Is that working? Hold on a second. I'll focus a few guys, then you can actually see it. Let's see here. No, oh, maybe, kind of. You know what? How about this? Hey, that's easy to see. All right, so what I did here, and I'm going to pull the LEDs off because it's actually going to be easier to explain um, with at least some of the LEDs off. Um, as you can see that I took one row and made that a common ground to all the LEDs using the proper resistor based on the, um, the LED specs that I had. And you can see that I've run V.3, and B.6, my native PWM pins, and I've got one hot rail here and one hot rail here, and I've simply staggered the LEDs, um, essentially making two in parallel off of each pin. That's the wiring, it's simple enough. Um, the code itself, as you can see, is posted directly under this video, and this is something that I'd really like you to check yourself, you know, just check it out yourself um, and, and ask any questions possible. I think the code is going to be fairly self explanatory uh, once, you, once you copy it in and see what's in, and read down it. Um, and I'd like to see what questions that this actually um, creates. You know, of course, I'll answer said questions. And this code is far from optimized. So as a group project, for those of you following along, there's a lot of different things we could probably do to improve this code. I did kind of did it seat in my pants. Um, but give this a shot. It's a, it's a really neat project. I think you're going to dig it. And it illustrates some very cool features of the, um, of the pickaxe. It also introduces um, random, which is a, a concept that you're going to need to get a hold of. And of course, it, uh, it, it also goes back into variables, and variables uh, are something that you're going to use with every program. So it's important to see examples of how they're used and how they're manipulated. Um, so I look forward to seeing if anyone actually gives this a shot, and any questions that result from it. Hope you like it. Bye.